hello guys welcome again in this video we are going to learn about the exception handling in go language exception handling is a very important part of a programmer life and for software development we have to handle exceptions in go language exception handling is little bit different with other languages like in java and c++ we use try and catch in other languages also we use try and catch combination and we are familiar with try and catch also but in go languages we have a different approach to handle these error or exceptions so how we can handle exceptions in go languages let understand in this example so we have a function here that get division in this function we have a num1 and num2 of int type a return value is also int and here i want to return uh, num1 divided by num2 like this nothing special is a very simple program and we have a result here in this result i just call get division function and i am passing here a very simple value 10 and 20 and here by using fmt i just print ln here the result that uh, the division of two number is equal to i say result i just save it and i just call it and you say the answer is 2 very simple but now if i pass here 0 as a denominator then it will generate the error like this integer divided by 0 not possible to divide a number by 0 mathematically wrong so now we have to handle this error for that we have to make some changes in this function that in place of integer we have to return a double value that is called error means we have to return error also so, and we have to check the condition that if this num2 denominator is equal to equal to 0 then what we have to do if this value is equal to equal to 0 then I have to return result as a minus 1 and I have to return a error as a new and here I am typing divide by 0 just information that divide by 0 and I save it now this errors is a package that we use a function to throw error and here if number is ok we say null if no error no numerator is not 0 then it will return a nil as error it return the proper value but here if there is a numerator is a 0 then we throw an error divide by 0 and we return minus 1 so here if we are calling this function now we have a result and we have an error also like this now we handle the error if this error not equal to nil if this is not equal to nil that means we have an error then we will print fmt dot print ln i say error dot error so that we are going to print what is the error and I run it again and you see divide by 0 and answer is here minus 1 because we have the result here the minus 1 so we can put this in else also because we do not want to print any value if there is no result like this we save it run again and we say divide by 0 but if we put here 10 or some other value and I save it and it will run normally that the division of two number is 2 so we have learned that how we can handle the error here 
this function going to return two value first is a normal result and second is the error if the condition match denominator is zero it will return minus one and return the error and we have the calling function here we are getting two result so if there is an error we are handling an error otherwise we are displaying a value this is the one way to handle the exception another way is to using a structures and we can create a custom exceptions means we can create on exceptions by using the structures how we can do that we just learn here that i create a structure i say uh, divide by zero and we say stuck structure type divide by zero and we have a one property here i say uh, txt error string type so it having error now for creating a custom error we have to uh, override a method uh, we can say override or we can we have to create a error method so not a function method and for method we have to pass a value here that value is the structure object so we say divide by zero like this and here i'm giving a error name is error this function should be override and it will return the string like this you see this is the structure that we are using and we are overriding this method here actually is not a overriding but i am using a word overriding because it is predefined function that we are overriding here that we are using to implementing from the interface error interface and this here we are returning c dot text error so this error will be written here now i have to create one more method that will display error so what can i do here i just create a function now and i say error divide for example divide by zero this is function and in this function the return type is error like this and here i am just returning the object of the structure and here i am passing divide by zero by using a structure just to differentiate the result using a structure now you see in place of this i will use my method so i am making this comment right now and i am using one more line here so return minus one and in place of error dot new i am creating my on custom error that is divide by zero i'm calling this method this method will pass this one and now i save it and i run it you see it's running now fine divide by answer is two and uh, if i put zero here and save it and i run it and you see divide by zero using structure so in place of error dot new we can create on function custom error display so we, by using structure so we have a two way here to handle exceptions first by using the errors dot new function and second by using a structure to define a custom error so that's all in this video thank you for watching my video